Nice. Morning, Kieran. Happy, isn't he? Should get some half time. This is what we'll be using loads of today. Half time plaster accelerator. Should we go? Yeah. He's raring to go, the lad. Absolutely raring to go. So, that's his little engine starting up. It's a beautiful crisp morning. We're just ready to rock and roll all day. Get a load of plastering done. I want to get back early because um, I want to go and see if I can get some tyres on the beast. So we'll see. Half time is going to be very important today. Ugh. Um, don't know yet. Let's just get everything all set up and we'll see. So today we're gonna be plastering this little room here and we're gonna spend most of the time sat around waiting for the plaster to set. So we're gonna be using this stuff half time. Now this isn't a fully comprehensive video of everything you can do with this stuff but I'm going to tell you how we're going to use it today. Loads of different uses for it. It's designed, if you do a little patching job, you mix half a bag and chuck one of them in and then it will set in half the time. Now the thing with this stuff is if you add more of it, it sets faster. If you add less of it, it doesn't set quite as fast but it still sets faster than it normally would if you just left it with none in. So we're mixing one bag of plaster to one sachet of half time. That way, it's not gonna. It's gonna be half the time. It's gonna be like three quarters of the time that it normally would. So it's just gonna make this job a little bit faster than it, than it needs to be. Um, that's it, yeah. So he's out there now. How many half times you got in that bucket, key? One sachet for one bag. As I said, see their design, one sachet for half a bag makes it a half time. So if you work the ratios out, one sachet for the full bag means that it won't set half time. It'll take a bit longer, but it won't be like, you know, sat around waiting for it to go off. So it is mixed. Okay, into the bucket. It was exactly four minutes past 10. Now usually, with multi-finish, because it sets a bit slower, we normally prefer board finish, but the builder's board is multi-finish. Usually it would be finished about three hours from now. So, we're adding a bit of half time. It's gonna knock a bit of time off. Let's check back later and see what time it is. Now, four minutes past nine, and we're just getting started with it now. Here's Kieran now mixing for the second coat. He's just put another sachet Another sachet of half time in. Yeah. Because you want the same ratio. You don't want to be putting. When we're doing the first mix, the first coat with half time and then the second coat with none because it'll all be set in different times. You want it all to be going off at the same time. So 
mixing the second coat now with the same amount of stuff. If this first coat was going off too fast, if we were struggling now because it was setting too quick, then we could leave it out and we just mix it normal. But we're not struggling with it, it's actually still wet. But you don't want to put more in on the second coat because you don't want you don't want your second coat going off faster than the first and it's like it's setting on the top and sliding round. So we just use the same amount, nice and simple. One sachet for one full bag. That's us now. Um, time is now quarter to eleven. It took us one hour, one hour forty-five minutes. Uh, and as you can see, walls are they're done, they're polished up. Um, that's it. So. As you know, multi-finish, that probably would have took us usually about, I don't know, three hours. We just basically knocked an hour and 15 minutes off it, which doesn't seem a lot, but as you know, if you're doing three mixes a day, that's going to make a massive difference to your finishing time at the end of the day. Right, now we're going to the next shop.